DC Domain Entertainment. Looks like he started moving. Here he comes. You say everybody's good at something. Talk to fish. That's how I met my friend Storm. I <laughs> talk to fish. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. <laughs> oh no, not her. Uh, damn, just meetings all day. Amber Turd is getting a lot of screen time, man. Oh, it's gonna wake the baby up. Yeah, there you go. Guinness. They probably uh paid a lot of money to have that beer in that movie. Look at that. Oh, he's controlling the fish. Man. That baby doesn't look Pops is blowing my mind. Polynesian. <laughs> Aquaman. Hey, it's Morpheus. Oh, I like this guy, man. He's a good actor. Really funny. I used to like uh, Fresh Off the Boat, man. That was a good show. What is that? Oh. How cold is that water? Oh. Frozen in time. Oh, man. Oh, here she is again. Sometimes not giving up is the most heroic thing you can do. Ah, I like that. Oh, he, he fixed his, he finally fixed his suit. Oh. The surface. Because if he cannot protect his own family. Probably poop on the side somewhere. That's kind of like the predator. All right, the water's right there. Let's go, skinny jeans. <laughs> Skinny G. That's some good CGI, man. Oh, power time. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Haha, what? Is that Rihanna? <laughs> oh, yeah. But you never had one of these. What is it? It's a cockroach. Don't eat it. You eat it? <laughs> oh my god. Let's check out a little bit of trivia from IMDB. Jason Momoa was the first to pitch a story for an Aquaman 2018 sequel. And he received story credit, making him the sixth person to receive writing credit for a comic book superhero film that he also starred in. After Christopher Reeve for uh, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Paul Rudd for Ant-Man 2015 and Ant-Man and the Wasp in 2018. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool 2. Tom Hardy for Venom, Let There Be Carnage in 2021. And Taiki Waititi, Thor Love and Thunder. Edward Norton rewrote Zach Penn's script for The Incredible Hulk 2008, but did not receive credit. Former DC Films President Walter Hamada wanted Michael Keaton's Batman to be similar to Nick Fury, having cameos in multiple films, including Batgirl, The Flash 2023, and this film. However, reshoots shifted the schedule and this film ended up being released after The Flash, so Keaton's cameo was reshot with Ben Affleck. Affleck's cameo was cut as well. And no Batman appeared in the final film. Aquaman dons a blue stealth suit in this film, which carries the octopus inspired ability to change color. The blue suit comes from the 1986 Aquaman comics. The film's working title was Necris, the underwater kingdom in the Aquaman comics, and seen in this film. Necris is named after Necro, the Greek word for death. 
Black Manta dons a newer, sleeker suit in this film, which is based on his Silver Age costume from the Aquaman comics. The 15th and final film in the DC Extended Universe. Aquaman Seahorse Steed Storm from the comics and Aquaman 1967 appears in this film. The budget was $205 million and it grows worldwide $396. It's almost double. I don't know if that's bad or good because marketing and all that stuff. Well, here they come. Oh, got him. <laughs> it gives Kane great powers and in return. Oh, behind you. Oh, man. Oh, there he is. He's going to fight us without the power suit? Bro, nah. <laughs> <laughs> no one hits my brother, but me. I was gonna kill you. <laughs> but me. <laughs> Wait, why doesn't he use his uh, death ray thing? Uh oh. There you go. No, oh, his wife. She's back. Amber Turd returns. Oh man. That's a whole different baby. That is a whole I'm positive that's a whole different baby. He's talking to the fish. Oh, they're like overloading it. Ne Necris, the lost kingdom. There you go, finally. Oh. And Baton. He's gonna throw a few turds at him. That looks so CGI. Oh, brother! Like Lion King. Long live the king. Oh! Oh! Get away from my son! <laughs> the way he went like that. That's funny. Boom! Bullet time. Oh, okay. Oh, blood. You were foolish to think he could ever take. Is a head just talking to him? Oh man, he's back. I think he, I think he should have been the villain, man. Throughout the whole movie. Uh oh, no. Shit. Oh, broke the black trident. Ugh. All that dramatic entrance, and he got killed like in a minute. Ah, oh, he's riding it. Oh, this poor guy. My claw got cut off. Again. <laughs> Again. There they go. All in the open now. Nah, <laughs> he got a burger. We'll become stronger and learn more about ourselves. We can seize this moment <laughs> to create a better. I am Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, he's gonna eat it. Oh my god, he's gonna put in his burger. <laughs> A little more crunchy. No, that's nasty. Alright. So I have to compare it to the original one and no man, the original is way better. I can't say way better, just better. This one had like too much going on. The story was a uh, very layered, convoluted, a little hard to follow, but still pretty good. The action's real good. 
it tried to be funny, but a lot of the jokes didn't work. And it's not even a Jason Momoa or anything. He's good. He's funny. It's just, I don't know, man. The jokes don't really land. Yeah, Amber Heard came out a lot, a lot more than I thought she would have. I thought they cut her uh, role off by a lot, but they didn't. She wasn't, she wasn't too bad. So from one to ten, I'm gonna give this movie here a six. Is it rewatchable? Yeah, I, I think I could rewatch it. Would I recommend it? I would recommend it. Catch you on the next one. Counterfeiting is a billion dollar business perpetrated by thousands of people throughout the world. Meet Kimo, one of those people. Kimo is a young man from the most dangerous city in America. After losing his job, he ventures into the risky business of counterfeiting to help relocate his family to a better place.